4.1. Identify that energy may be released from the nuclei of atoms. So, energy may be released from the nuclei of atoms. Clear as cut and simple. So, binding energy in mass defect. It is now realized that from any stable element, the sum of masses of the individual particles is always greater than the mass of the nucleus of the atom. So, this difference of in mass is called the mass defect. The mass defect occurs because according to Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared. The mass has an energy equivalent called binding energy which holds the nucleus together. So a nuclear reaction that produces a new element with a greater binding energy per nucleus component will cause mass to be converted into energy and released. This can be done by two um, nuclear reactions and this is fission which is the splitting of heavy nuclei into smaller elements and fusions, which is joining smaller nuclei to form a larger element. And you can see that on the right hand side, and this is what you need to understand, is fission, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. So you can see here in fission, there are the splitting of heavier um, elements into smaller elements here, and it's a knock on effect and it keeps on going. Whereas fusion is the joining of smaller um, nuclei to form a larger element. And you can see that by the combination of the two forming into one.